Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we are playing uh, Sinking City This the Sinking City It's it's, an, it's a new game 2019 game All I know is that uh, this game is based on HP Lovecraft stuff The horror stuff of HP Lovecraft I, I do not know what game it is I, I haven't uh, searched about the uh, the gameplay yet I've just like jumped into this shit With zero knowledge about this game All I know is this game is based on HP Lovecraft stuff So let's jump into the shit Okay, this looks beautiful. It's like, oh, the detail. Okay, it's not that beautiful, but still, this looks beautiful. Okay, so E is. Wait, what? If I never have to use it, something tells me I will. Oh. Oh, I hate this. Okay. So E is melee. <laughs> Trust a tourist advertisement. Now get out. Okay then. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flag. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, okay then, thank you, oblige, Mr. Mr. Vanderberg. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect Wunderbar. you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Uh, what's to do with the city? Oakmont is no easy task. Most maps I've found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont well, his face no looks like he's on a crack or something like that. God damn it, It's man. unique geographical position, and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. V. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? Okay. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. 
the visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Lee. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. You're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted oh, the police okay. station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought, like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Well, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Lee. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. This is struggling. Okay. Oakman. A town on the rise. Seriously, it looks like far harbor from here, okay? Clear water. Under the keel bar. Exit. The frame rate looks steady better. I don't care about your petty excuses. It's the monkey no guy? No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fun. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, excuse me, are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Okay, then. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. This guy looks like for the monkey, seriously. Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart. Yeah, the who's best that, Tarzan? Of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Who are the Innsmouthers? Where is the. Cause, okay. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now. Those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. 
We are the pillar of this community. Not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. Hmm. Yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth or Ridden City will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. <laughs> That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through That's our a, uh, veins. Our father united with uh, a certain royal polite family. Polite way of saying, you look like a monkey. all our offspring with these exquisite features. Well, Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Fera, you have a point, newcomer. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. What's with the hand, man? What's with the hand? I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Okay, uh, I need to know the location the first. All happened. For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Okay, this is the fisherman's house. I need to go to the hotel, but okay, uh, let's see the map. Okay, uh, mine palace. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's like a Sherlock place. Okay, Ooh, okay, Frosty, welcome. Uh, Robert Truck, what mm, a key place on map. Where is it? Oh, this one. I need to go to the uh, hotel first. Where is the hotel? Is it this one? Hello? 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 Okay, I, I can't, I can't climb, I can't climb. So the key is down there. Well, I just gotta, I just have to uh, complete the Albert mission first, right? Okay, 
this game looks beautiful. Who made this game? Trust a tourist advertisement. Where is the place? Key evidence collected. Oh. Okay, so the goal part is collected. So this is not collected yet. There's no legend. Wow, this is confusing as fuck. Okay. No, so what are you playing? It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is so. <laughs> that is so rude. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Hello? 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 This game has a lot of details in them. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? I want to know everything. Okay, first, Tell who are you? Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starve. Okay, it seems there's a lot of fish over here, though. Your business must be blooming. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. And he started to make these horrible sounds and... Okay. My head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing. Just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me... Ugh. That sounds familiar. Okay, who is K? Who is this K you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I didn't know. How am I supposed to know? Where are all the other guys? New. Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. K be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. I'm starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, Detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? 
Did I kill Paul? Or... Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. God damn it. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Ooh, ooh, what the fuck was that? What the fuck is that? It's beside. It's, it's right. So dark. It's, it's, it's on the screen. And it's on the screen. Ahem. Right, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe you know this. That's stealing, man. That's stealing. That is stealing. Oh shit, sorry. Five cards short of a full house. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Like this before. Masterful work. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Wow. So confused, man. What's happening? up he was not himself he attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them when he got wounded he fled <laughs> let's see what you find newcomer I, hear. I still hear those voices I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Oh yeah, uh, go to the mine palace, okay. Thank you. 
This is cool. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. I am in awe, man. I am silenced because I am in awe. Wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. But this is a next gen shit. Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't have yet enough uh, stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fast snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Who's the put the experience? Blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. <sighs> the door won't budge. Okay, melee. God damn. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Ooh, what the fuck is that? What is that shit? Ooh, 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 kill it, kill it, kill it. What the fuck was that? Oh, sorry, sorry, I'll bet. Fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Okay, uh, Albert, that will do it. Let's pursue. Clues, uh. Albert was murdered and Lewis left the crime scene, or not? Okay, to find more clues, man. Lewis may be at the bar. What the f? That this is, this, this is weird, man. Okay, I need to find Louis at the bar. Yeah, no, first I must tell the the father that Alice Elba is dead. This is a dying city. It's been all day. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. 
condolences, Mr. Thornborn. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. Seems like he was a fisherman by the name of Lewis. He had a gun and pursued Albert after he fled the house. Lewis it is, then. What do you know of him? Turns out you were right. He's an insmouther. Yeah. Those filthy scum have done it now. When I'm through with them, they will rue the day they dared lay a finger on a Throgmorton. Bring me that dirtbag, Lewis. He and I are due a reckoning. Do this for me, and I'll help you with anything you need. Mr. Throgmorton, uh, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures, and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them. But we know little more that than when we started. Like They're aggressive, but fall out. fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I like that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Bye. Okay, first, where is the bar? I need to find the bar. We have sushi, please, right? All the evidence collected. Yeah, right. Alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Uh, that usually the bad guys somewhere scoot at the, at the corner of a dark hollow place. He's just by himself drinking. Usually it's like that. The door won't budge. Get them! Oh. Get them! Oh. That's a nice dialogue. Welcome man. to Under the Keel. What do you want? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. Robert Throgmorton hired me to investigate his son's disappearance. I found the note about your debt to Lewis near his cold, dead body. It looks like Lewis murdered Robert's kid. You want him to come here and ask instead of me? What? Don't what me. At best, you're harboring a criminal. At worst, you're an accessory to murder. I... What? No. I ain't done nothing. Tell that to Mr. Throckmorton. No. No. Throck. Lewis is upstairs. 
Here's the key. Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. Bye. Hey, who are you? What who are you look? doing? What the hell? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throg. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. <laughs> First I want to ask this part. What kind of... Uh, why do you... Y your face, it's uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Inns mother's bodies were blessed by the she. This is not blessing. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Okay then. Start at the beginning. What happened? We. We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Mary dragged that damn ape to our house. He was yeah, he wasn't about it. how okay. much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall... After is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont are called the grand families. There's the carpenters who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. Well, I think be. I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reed, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. 
You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. Okay, now I need to uh, settle this case. Go into my man palace, man. Okay, so now I gotta tell uh, um, Mr. Throckmorton about what happened. Bye. Bye. Okay, oh, I, I know that this place is bumpy something. It is not his... It's not his fault because I can see the sincereness in him trying to bribe me because that is not his thing. Okay, bribing is wrong. First of all, bribing is wrong. But still, but he bribed for a good thing, for a good cause. I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouther fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. You must ask his friends. Alas, this was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure. But at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Came to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things, visions, and I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or uh, I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Geological expedition. I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture, a sleeping giants, drowned streets, and a voice calling from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. 
If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters, and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Throckmorton Manor. Okay, the booth open. Still not open, okay. So that's it folks for today's video I guess uh, I will be seeing you dudes, all of you dudes in the next video dudes Peace out This game is fun It is fun